The importance of emergency preparedness. Being ready for the unexpected, or in other words, in the colloquial words, shit happens when the reality comes through and uh, tests us, uh, our preparation. Uh, the phrase uh, captures uh, the unpredictable and sometimes unavoidable nature of emergency. While it may be a colloquial expression, its underlying message emphasizes the importance of being prepared for unexpected and challenging situations. In the context of emergency preparedness, this phrase highlights several key points. First, acknowledgement of the unpredictability. Shit happens to encapsulate the idea that unforeseen events and emergency are part of a life. Uh, the unpredictability of the situation underscores the need for proactive measures to mitigate the impact of these events. But also emphasis of readiness, on readiness. Rather than dwelling on the inevitability of challenges, the emphasis is on preparation and the ability to respond effectively when unforeseen circumstances arise. It's also a proactive mindset. Uh, is crucial. Individuals and organizations are encouraged to anticipate potential risk, plan for various scenarios, and establish protocols for swift and effective response. Last but not least, crisis management and adaptability. Crises will occur, but effective crisis management involves adaptability and uh, the ability to navigate challenges. Being prepared allows individuals and organization to respond flexibly to changing circumstances. So, in life, the unexpected is inevitable and it's clear the how impredictable nature of emergency in cultural heritage environments. Uh, example, we, we, we can navigate in the tapestry of cultural heritage, the inevitability of unexpected com compels us to approach conservation and preservation with a unwavering vigilance. The unpredictability that surrounds our heritage, we embrace uh, the responsibility to adapt, innovate and fortify our efforts to ensure that ecos our past resound unbroken into the future. Natural disaster, act of vandalism, political unrest and armed conflicts, climate change, pandemics and others. There are so many threats and uh, that we need to be, I would say, prepared somehow and ready at the same time. Um, here are some examples. You can, you can look at this, this is example as uh, we are talking about uh, uh, earthquake. An earthquake can cause structural damage on historical building, like as you can see, see here. And then subsequently also after shock and landslides, they may further jeopardize the integrity of cultural heritage assets. But floods, flooding, you know, uh, rainfall or river uh, overflow can submerge archaeological sites, erode landscapes, damage artifacts stored in museum or cultural repositories. Um, fire, a fire whether accidental, you can imagine this, you, you all remember the, 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 the fire in Paris, uh, historical building, libraries, museum, uh, leading to the destruction of valuable manuscript artworks and and then what the the, the human uh, behavior could could attack the cultural heritage vandals but also uh, theft but also uh, war and all these facts that can uh, attack our our the, the, the armed conflicts uh, could attack the cultural heritage. We need to, somehow we, we, we need to, to, to uh, prepare. And last but not least, the climate change impact. Rising sea levels due to climate change can threaten coastal heritage sites and submerge archaeological landscape. 
it's uh, you know we are, we are here is a picture it could be a joke but uh, it's a real risk in face of us last but not least we can also talk about pandemics public health emergencies such as COVID-19 pandemic and disrupt cultural activities led to closure of the museum, led closure to museum and heritage sites and uh, art and traditional cultural practices impacting the intangible cultural heritage communities. But also technological failures, uh, power outgage on system crashes can compromise the integrity of digital archives, database and collection management system, disrupting access to crucial information. L and also urban development and construction, rapid uh, urbanization and construction projects may unadvertently impact cultural heritage sites. Excavation and construction activity can lead the, uh, can lead the accidental discovery of disruption or archaeological remains, and so many others, um, I would say, threats we are facing. I would say, in every day, we are going to, to increase our skills about it. What are the costs and consequences of to be unprepared? Um, but the costs can vary, can vary widely based on the nature of the emergency. Uh, the significance of the cultural heritage at stake and the effectiveness of the emergency preparedness measure in place. This consideration underscores the importance of proactive uh, planning and risk mitigation strategies in safeguarding cultural heritage environments. Specific case studies on the cost of preparedness in cultural heritage disaster may not be exhaustive. However, Several historical events have demonstrated that significant financial and cultural consequences of inadequate preparedness. Here we are a few notable examples. Uh, starting from flooding in Florence in 1966, the Florence flood, uh, several damage, countless works of art, rare books, and manuscripts. The lack of preventive measure and timely response resulted in significant financial costs for restoration and recovery efforts. Uh, these events prompted increased awareness of the need of cultural heritage protection, but uh, it was uh, too late. Uh, Iraq National Library and Archives. During the Iraq War in 2003, the National Library and Archives in Baghdad suffered extensive looting and damage. Numerous manuscripts, documents, artifacts were lost. The lack of preparedness and security measures resulted in a severe setback to Iraq's cultural heritage and interfered with research and education. It was less the Nepal earthquake, but uh, uh, the, the fire at the National Museum on Brazil the fire of the National Museum of Brazil in 2018 destroyed a vast collection of natural history, anthropology and archaeological artifacts. Inadequate fire prevention measure and lack of funding for infrastructure maintenance contributed to the loss of invaluable cultural heritage. Last but not least, Hurricane Katrina in 2005 uh, yes, while primarily natural disaster affecting human life, lives and infrastructure, Hurricane Katrina also damaged cultural heritage in New Orleans. The lack of preparedness for the hurricane's impact on the museum, library and historical sites resulted in significant financial and cultural loss. And this is also, I had a direct experience, I was managing, I, I was working for, um, for an insurance uh, company and um, what we learn from Katrina is that uh, we must be prepared for when we face the 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 the, the, uh, the, 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 the other hurricane in U.S. Sandy, we were prepared and we prepare our not only uh, our clients, our but also our contracts, uh, including our contracts. Also, the fact that in case of this kind of, this kind of um, 
um, this uh, disaster that we can we can have some days to 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 know that it's going to come we can have a, a specific clause supporting our clients to store in a secure and safe because we need to prepare before if you are prepared you can save otherwise you will be uh, it will be a, a, a tremendous disaster so what are the key uh, i would say tip suggestion in case of um, emergency because as we said shit happens first of all conducting a kick and immediate assessments assessment in the emergency situation for cultural heritage requires a focused and systematic approach here's some steps to facilitate a rapid assessment first of all is assess the situation what does it mean assess the situation maybe do all the things that we are going to suggest now first of all safety of personnel ensure the safety prioritize the safety of personnel and individuals in the vicinity evacuate people from the immediate danger to zone to secure location people first is necessary to provide first aid or if necessary provide first aid or medical assistance of those uh, to those in, in need um, activate emergency response team usually we should have a, a, an emergency response team and uh, mobilize the people ensure that members are aware of their roles and responsibility uh, during the assessment phase confirm that communication channels within the team are functional and established in the common center if needed so having the control of the of the team and the immediate communication with, with the team is crucial and i'm talking about establish clear communication open and clear communication channels with the relevant parties including emergency services so external local authorities and stakeholders Provide initial information about the emergency situation, the cultural heritage assets involved, and the, uh, any immediate risk. Uh, secure the area, as I said. Conduct a rapid visual inspection. Perform a quick visual inspection of the cultural heritage site and its surroundings. This should be a rapid walkthrough to identify immediate threats and damage. Focus on assessing structural stability, potential hazard, fire, flooding, and the condition of vulnerable artifacts or structures. But then, again, other <laughs> suggestion topic. Uh, when we have, the, after the first look, prioritize your action um, to address the most critical and urgent issues. This may include stabilizing structure, protecting vulnerable artifacts, or initiating emergency measures to prevent further damage. Um, then we say uh, one of the suggestions is documentation. Documentation for several reasons, but document your observation through photographs, videos, and written notes. This documentation will serve as baseline for further assessment for insurance claims. You need to document what you're doing, even if you're doing something to, to uh, because to, 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 in order to um, save uh, documents or, art, or, or the artworks or whatever. As much you can document, as it will be better for your insurance uh, documentation. Um, engage, request, if needed, request assistance from relevant experts, such as conservator, structural engineers, or emergency responders. You cannot be an expert of everything. Don't hesitate to call the expert, even the insurer. The insurer are used to deal with this kind of situation. Call the insurer, call the expert, call the uh, call the assistant for the expert. It is critical to do the right things at the right time. Last but not least, of course, and then you have to have a proper resource allocation and uh, 
continue monitoring the situation, provide regular updates to advantage to the emergency response team, stakeholders, relevant authorities. So is summarizing is do your best, understanding what is what's happening, and a, a lot of communication, internal communication, external communication. Call the expert because you are not expert on every kind of uh, potential risk or situation. But you you could be the only, the first eyes and the first web uh, was the, 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 the information that could drive the uh, uh the, the, and prioritize the, the first action. These are the, the main suggestion in, in case of uh, crisis. Um, conclusion. Uh, in emergency uh, situation, swift and well-coordinated action are crucial for, minimize, for minimizing damage, ensuring the safety of individuals involved and facilitating an effective response. In summary, the urgency and complexity of, of the emergency in the context of cultural heritage necessitate a well-coordinated and rapid response. This approach not only safeguards valuable assets, but also contributes to the overall resilience and sustainability of cultural heritage environments.